What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to be making a cool little nanoscape. I've got absolutely no idea what I'm gonna put in it yet, but I'm just gonna get building. <laughs> There we go, we've got a nice little blank canvas there. So first of all, we need to put in a little nutrient layer so that our plants have got something for the roots to grow into and then just provide them with ample nutrients. So that's a very simple but I think impactful hardscape. Next up, I'm going to be filling up with water. I just I just find it so much easier to plant into the uh, soil or whatever you've got at the base there. I've got sand and gravel, aqua soil mix. I just find it so much easier to plant into that, uh, with, especially with stem plants when there's water in a tank. You can just see how the plants are sitting rather than you know when you fill it up later on and they all just go Bleh. it doesn't you don't get that you just straight away know that they're looking good it will disturb it or it will cause some cloudy water but we can just do a nice quick water change so all good So that's all my plants selected. You can see here they're all on weights. 
I might keep some of them on the weights, but I might spread them about as well. I want them to sort of all mix into one. Um, I completely forgot to put any root tabs in before I filled up, but not to worry, I can just break them up now and use my tweezers to put them in. So the sandlet is nice and deep. Just take your tweezers and push the root tab deep into the sand bed. Right, so far so good. We've got a lot of the stem plants in there now. I want to start working on these lower areas, so shorter planting. I want it to come down at the edge there and down at the edge there. And then just to finish it off, I think I want something right in the background, something finer just shooting up. I think that would just like be the icing on the cake. Right, we're really coming along now. It's, it makes such a difference. As soon as you sort of block off the sand behind the borderline, it really does create that depth look. So this side look, looks naff. You come across, it looks good straight away. Um, on this side, I wanna go for some bigger leaved plants. So I'm thinking Hygophila, Polysperma would work well in that background section. And then something shorter in front of it, just sort of like this side, shorter, longer, Rotala, both Rotalas, but different textures, different colors. It just works, doesn't it? So that all went brilliant. We need to fit a filter to this. Well, we don't need to fit a filter to this tank. I just want to, because I now use these tiny little ones here. Hang on, let me get it out. Yeah, I now use these tiny little cute filters. How nice is that? It's got a lucky little built-in cartridge thing, but we can just put our own little sponge in there. It's got one little sponge, look this little strip here then this is like an active carbony thing I, I don't really bother with those too much for me that's just going to restrict the, the flow so yeah i'll slide that out i'll put a black sponge in the same size i've already bought some extra and then we can put it on i'm not sure where to put it on this one because if i put it over the back it's going to just push all these uh, plants what i'll probably do is hang it on the side here the flow will go in the foreground because there's no plants there so that won't like make them go a funny shape and everything yeah it's definitely the best option
actually, do you know what? I'm going to do something that I've done before. Now, that doesn't look bad, does it? It's, it's not too intrusive, and actually, it's quite a nice-looking filter, to be fair. But I would prefer if it was at the back. Now, the reason I'm not doing that is because I don't want it to push all of the uh, stem plants downwards. It makes them grow weird and funny. So what I'm going to do is take this bottle, cut it in half this way, and then cut it in half again, and that gives me a scoop. Now, if I bend that at the edge so that it goes underneath there and curves back upwards, it means that all the water then just runs along the surface, which means I can then put it at the back there and it won't hurt the stems. Let's do that. <laughs> you don't even want to see this blade look. Whoops, <laughs> it'll work. Right, there we go so he works an absolute treat so all the water just bouncing off that surface this will give you a better view there you go there's the tiny little wave bit there look at that stems not touched at all perfect and what it'll actually do is cause like a rotational flow as well which is just what you need to make sure that the detritus doesn't get sort of caught in certain areas or just dead zones so yeah all good so it has now been a good few days since I set the tank up now look at the crypts down the bottom here Look at that, they've just melted away. They're absolutely perfectly healthy when I put them in the tank and now they've pretty much just completely gone. Look at this, it's odd, very odd. But you know, it does happen with crypts. They, they don't like being moved apparently. So yeah, the rest of the plants look all in perfect health. In fact, all of them have like grown to the surface already. So I'm gonna cut those sides down a bit and get a bit more of a sort of pyramid sort of style. So these, these green ones at the back, the Rotala, I'm gonna bring those down a little and the polysperm on this side, bring those down a little. Um, I'm going to take out the crypts to be honest. I mean, I can add something else in there. Maybe some hydrocortical Japan will look good, but it needs to come out because it's going to foul the water. Having anything rotten in there that's not growing will cause ammonia, which will then cause algae because it's food for the algae. So we don't want any of that going on. Yeah, so it's quite interesting look. So all the base of the plant and all the root system is very firm and doing very well. The plants that they've just mushed, they've just, they're just, well, melted. <laughs> so I think if you did leave it in there, over time it will come back. So maybe I'll just snip these off and plant them in another tank and just, you know, leave it really. It's quite a small tank anyway, so they would grow huge in those areas. But they did look good to start with. Never mind, we can use something else. Right, so the tank's complete, very simple. Just a stick and rocks, plants, <laughs> pretty much every single aquarium, obviously. But you know, I like these simple scapes. They're easy to maintain. They look great as well because they're not complicated. Some of the more complicated ones, you have to really, really sort of maintain them all the time. And there's a small window where they actually look good. <laughs> but one of these sort of jungle styles, let's face it, jungle style is the easiest style to do, isn't it? Because you just put stuff in and let it do its thing. But I'm, I, I really like that. That's my favorite style. That's why I do quite a lot of them like that. So let's put some fish in. Now for that, I've got some in one of the tanks you can see up there. It's a little no filter tank that I made quite a while ago. Yeah, it's kind of had its day, it's, it's done. It's like six months old now, I think, something like that. But it's got some chili Chilirosporas in it. Now, I think they'd appreciate a bit more space and we can give that to them in this tank. Yeah, so here it is, look. And these are the tiny little chili Chilirosporas. Look at them, they're absolutely tiny. Here's my finger. <laughs> they're very good, actually. They, they know me so well now, they think they're getting fed. Actually, that would have sounded like a tap to them. And I tap the glass so they know it's food time. But anyway, I think there's six or seven in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think there's seven. Why are you counting six? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven in here. So I've got to try and catch them. They're actually quite difficult to catch. And then I can put them into the new tank. It should look really good with those, you know, sort of swimming around here. Why am I visualizing it when I can actually do it? Well, I have to say that was the easiest and smoothest catching I've ever done, to be honest. It was a breeze. I was thinking that we're going to just like sort of hide amongst all the plants, but they didn't. So we've got, as suggested, six chili Chilirosporas, not seven. I don't know why I had seven. Oh, that's why I had seven. <laughs> There's another one. Right, I'll try and get that. Yes, yeah, so we've got seven chili Chilirosporas. And also I took out this tank initially over here. 
a load of cherry shrimp as well that were breeding so they've got a mix in there of different types there's blues there's reds so those can go in as well and they'll look great they're a really good addition to have in the tank with the chili risporas as well but yeah i think we should put the uh the shrimp in first so that then the, f the fish aren't going to attack anything that's put in there thinking it's food here we go oh there's a lot of water in there i don't need that much water hang on let me put this all down Brilliant, the shrimp are in, look, they're getting to work straight away. There's plenty of biofilm on everything in here. I mean, this has been set up for four days total now. Everything's running along, ticking along nicely. I'm gonna put the fish in, then I'll also add in some beneficial bacteria as well, but you don't wanna do that until the fish are in, obviously. And that's because the beneficial bacteria require uh, waste as food. So if you don't have fish, but you put the bacteria in, it won't do anything. There we go, look, a nice cute little school. I mean, they blend in quite well. We could probably have some other fish in this tank as well, to be honest, or maybe a bigger school. I don't know, they seem really calm and nice. And it's just gonna be one of those real cool little chilling tanks just to sit back and watch grow. I really love this, uh, this type of gravel in the foreground. I've never actually done that before. I normally go for like a more of a white sand or something, but that's actually got so much detail and it works so well, doesn't it? With the plants, the white background, or the, sorry, the misted background. And the fish as well, the fish are blending right in. I mean, they're a bit in shock, I think, at the moment because their colours have doled right down, but that won't take long. There we go, they're just starting to come back to it now and starting to go and explore. Go on, guys, go and have a look. <laughs> So there we go then, that is the tank fully complete. I'm now gonna have to put it back up the top. So to do that, I need to drain the water out, which is fine, it's nice and quick. I've got instruments to do it with. And then I'll put it up top there and it's new home. It should look so good. And there we have it looking good. I really like it up here. Look at that, nice little line. Again, this one's gonna be changing. It's, it's been fun having it there, but it's time to move on, do some cool new fit. Oh, what have I done to the light there? Hang on. Knocked it, I think, haven't I? Something like that. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Hang on. Right, there we go. I'm not touching it. <laughs> Don't know what happened then. And it, so you might notice that these sort of, all sort of buckle in slightly towards the middle been like that since I've done it. It's not a problem, we're all good. And I know that would really, really annoy some of you and make you worry, but nothing's broken yet, so yeah, I'm just leaving it. Basically what it is, is this side of the wood is ever so slightly higher um, on each side than it is in the middle. So the wood actually just bends down until it touches the uh, metal fret. Anyway, who cares? It's, look, it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, the tank looks really good up there. Love it, didn't it? So I just want to do something really cool and simple in that middle one. I've been really liking the minimalist style stuff. So maybe I'll do a minimal in the middle and then we've got a jungle and then like a proper nature style this side this needs a water change it's got some brown in it from the tannins from that wood but i actually think it looks really good so yeah anyway another successful tank built i think it looks absolutely brilliant 
fish seem to be settled in as well nicely. 